What is up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in for our first water level update of 2020. We began this summer updating you on the status of Colorado's outdoor recreation and the COVID-19 related regulations the state had in place, but as many of these regulations have been lifted, we are ready to get back to updating you on all the rivers that we love boating and fishing on. The speed and water levels of the rivers in Colorado, they can fluctuate day to day depending on snow melt, weather, and dam releases. We'll be here to keep you updated on the water levels and flow speeds of some of Colorado's most popular rivers so that you can know what to expect before you head to the water. This is your June 26th Colorado River Update. The main statistic that we consider to understand how a river is currently running is stream flow. The stream flow is measured in cubic feet per second, or CFS, and this tells us how fast the river is flowing. Many of our guides like to explain stream flow to our guests by telling them to pick one spot on the water to look at and imagine basketballs flowing past. So if a river is running at 1,000 CFS, you would imagine 1,000 basketballs flowing through that small area of the river every second. Let's take a look at the current stream flows of Clear Creek, the Arkansas, and the Colorado. Clear Creek in Idaho Springs is an incredible river with a variety of sections varying in skill level. This river truly has something for everyone. Clear Creek is currently running at a flow rate of 422 CFS. This is a bit lower than usual as it's coming in at about 30% lower than the average speed for this time of year, but is still at a great speed. Heading over to Buena Vista to check in on the Arkansas River. The Ark is currently flowing at a rate of 990 CFS. This is a great flow to raft on and with sections like the Numbers and Browns Canyon, this river is a must visit. Let's head north to Kremlin to take a look at the Colorado River. The Pump House Estate Bridge section is currently running at 1,360 CFS. This flow rate is a bit lower than average as well, but it is still at a terrific runnable level for boaters and anglers. I know many of us have been aching to get back outside after all being stuck indoors for the last few months, and there's no better way to get some fresh air than heading to one of Colorado's epic rivers. Check out the link in this video's description to learn more about some of the top guided river trips in the state and to book a trip for yourself and your group. That's a wrap for the first water level update of 2020. We'll be back in two weeks for yet another Colorado River update. And until then, we hope to see you out there enjoying the astounding Rocky Mountains.